Mehmet'e ne oldu? O mu? O artık Gündüz Vardiyası'nda çalışıyor. Memnun muymuş? Mutluymuş öyle dedi. Ama ben kişisel olarak turistlerle muhatap olmak istemem. As always. Great view. I can see your house. Let's get moving. There's a guard right below you. <laughs> Nearly there. Yeah. Why are the lights still on? Chloe will take care of it, don't worry. Night, night, sunshine. Shit. We can't get any closer with the tower lit up like that. What the hell's she doing? Come on, Chloe. That's my girl. Okay. 
We're clear. Ladies first. Ah, <laughs> cute. Here we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, there it is. And there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off if we so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> Now we're sure it's the right one. I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. <laughs> Crap. Well, that's the understatement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. Light of the Great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that really a good idea in here? Khan. Whoa. Let me see that. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shambhala. The curse of the Chintamani. Will that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn! What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La! You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we've really got to go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Uh, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you going to do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. Oh, shit. You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn, listen. Face it, genius. You've been played. Ah, uh -uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? Oh, no, no, no! Okay, now I'm screwed. Hey, hey. Think, Nate, think! There it is. Yeah, this way, this way. Right. Use your head, Nate. Use your head. Oh, you can't do it! How do I get out of here? Catch him, my dog! Catch you! And the man is not the city. Yakalayın onu. Köşeye sıkıştırın. Durdurun onu. There we go. Köşeye sıkıştırın. 
gotta get to that ladder. <laughs> See ya, suckers. You overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? <gasps> hey, hey, hey! Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, I had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money, and a good chunk of my own, but hey. Ah. Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Mm. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first now, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for Listen, the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you, he's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate. They found the ships. In Borneo? Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. We are gonna snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's gotta be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be an inside job. From someone they know and trust. Oh. Okay, I see where this is going. I just need a diversion. You give me five minutes in that tent, that's all it'll take. Really? Five minutes? Well, that's great. I won't even have to get my top off. Chloe, I was thinking more like an explosion. Or oh, that can be arranged. Are you in? Oh, hell yes. I was in before you were. Chloe, you reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. Okay, I've planted charges all around the perimeter of the camp. You two just need to arm them. The first one should be right ahead of you. There it is. I also left the detonator for you. Uh-huh. There we are. All right. First one set. Don't... Touch the button. This one? <laughs> Once 
Once you've set all the charges, just hit the detonator and it's showtime. <laughs> yeah. Just be careful. Zarovich has got his men posted all around the perimeter. Keep an eye out for patrols. <sighs> I'm sweating like a hooker in church. You brought a hooker to church? Hey, careful. Up ahead. Don't let him spot you. Let's take these guys out. Quietly. My feet haven't been dry for a month. Don't let Lazarevich hear you complaining like that. I said quiet, mate. That's the other end allowed. <laughs> This way. Nate, you should be approaching excavation site one by now. They should have been back by now. Huh? Shit, we've been spotted. Take them out fast. We can't have them this way back to camp. charges in there, but you're going to have to clear the place out before you can arm them. There's nothing out here. When will he give up? Lozarevich, give up? Remember Here's the camp. You're talking about. You ready for this? We Let's do it. All the wrecks. What else does he expect to find? Don't let Lazarevich hear you talking like that.
just what I need. Intruder! Bring ah. him down! those explosives and get them on. Still got to arm three of the charges. There should be only two left. All right, one more, and we're out of here. Reach us. Come on over here. I'll give you a boost. All right. Come on, gorgeous. Jump up. Yep. Uh, uh, you got a great ass, Sully. Uh, thanks. Uh, there you go, kid. All right. Ooh, that must have been some tsunami to wash these ships so far inland. Pump is down. Uh, the damn thing is always breaking down. Come on, let's just fix it so we can get out of here. Look, they're not armed. Well, not that many. What are we waiting for? We can take these guys. I don't know, Sully. Maybe. Always follow the hose. Just like in Montreal, huh? You're never gonna forget this. I think I see the camp up ahead. Okay, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> 
Wait, wait, just hold on a sec. Three months and you have found nothing. Well, well, well now wait, wait a minute. We've been commander. That must be Lazarevich. This man was caught stealing artifacts from site number five. <laughs> you would betray me for this? No, no, Zoran, I can't explain. No, no, need, no need. <laughs> I'm surrounded by traitors and fools! What do you say we really ruin this guy's day? Do it. Run out! Search the perimeter! Go! All right, it's all yours, kid. I'll cover you from here. A sniper rifle up here. Careful, Nate. Looks like they left a couple of sentries behind. Okay, kid. It's showtime. This Lazarevich guy isn't screwing around, Sully. You should see all this stuff. He's got files on every expedition to find Shambhala. All the way back to the 1600s. What about Marco Polo's journals? <laughs> Here they are. Just hurry it up. You haven't got much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worthy pilgrim is granted a golden passport to conquer obstacles on his journey to Shambhala. Huh. Is that supposed to mean something? Beats me. Hold on. Here we go. It was with great sorrow that I left my fellow travelers to their fate. A fate decreed by the dreadful cargo we bore from Shambhala. They must have thought that tsunami was some kind of divine retribution. Wait a minute. Damn. Sully, I don't think the Chintamani Stone is here. What? Listen to this. I would have sooner endured the wrath of Kublai Khan himself than remove the Chintamani stone from that sacred shrine. Marco Polo never had the stone. Then what dreadful cargo is he talking about? I don't know. Well, if the stone's not here, what the hell is Lazarovich looking for? Shambhala. Here in Borneo? He's a little wide of the mark, don't you think? He must be trying to pick up Marco Polo's trail back to Shambhala. Why? <laughs> Because the stone is still there. <sighs> Chloe, can you talk? Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. In all this digging they've done, have they found any bodies, any remains at all? No, now that you mention it, nothing. Why? <laughs> Over 600 people were shipwrecked here, yet there's no bodies. Don't you find that a little odd? So where did they all go? Where would you go if a tsunami hit? To higher ground. Bingo. We head to that mountain. What do you bet we find Marco's pals? Chloe, can you meet up with us? Already on my way. Great. Uh-oh. Nate, you gotta get out of there. <laughs> You're gonna have to give me a minute, Sully. You don't have a minute. What's he? 
all dead. Oh, crap. Spread up. Stay down, kid. I got you covered. Nate. Oh, that's convenient.
way. Should be this way. Sully, look at these stones. Luck, the last resting place of Marco Polo's crew. Shall we check it out? <laughs> 